chat. Yo, hey, hey. So, you know what I was thinking about? So you know, you know, Rolling Loud recently is it, the biggest is the biggest concert for most of these artists. They all do. They have a video crew to video them performing in front of people that didn't really buy tickets for them. Now these people are watching them, and they might cheer for them, but really, they're not enough for someone to buy a ticket, right? That's why Rolling Loud is great. They're buying a ticket for the whole event, not for usually one or two people, unless they're headliners. And, um, you know, I was watching even, like, the reaction to uh, Call the Rain. I'm like, damn. I know everybody posts the highlight of their show, their show or their set. But, damn, really, what happens when an artist is there and it's not a lit moment? And then I realize... Yo, Ack, what the fuck are you doing? You just making excuses for Shorty. Because this came across my timeline. They gave a comparison. Now, this is very unfair. Because one nigga is a complete legend. And the other person is Coleray. But it was a rolling loud comparison. And it was XXXTentacion and Coleray. Listen to this shit. Nobody. All right, yo, could I just why the fuck I'm always mute? So I use this sound thing here, right? And when I start playing music, the reason I don't use headphones, I cut my audio off. So I'm in like this streaming setup. This is actually a studio. There's plexiglass back there. That's a whole booth. There's a mic that's in there that I can record music in. And I've done songs in there that I've previewed to y'all. There's a DJ set up there. Like right there, like behind this little whatever thing. That's, that's a DJ set up. There's a bunch of stuff in here. So if you wonder like, yo, why the fuck I'll be mute is because I don't use headphones and when I'm listening to the music or listen to a clip I'm playing for y'all, I mute myself and play the clip. And I can hear the clip because it's blasting in here. But then when the clip is done and I'm trying to talk to y'all, I got to turn my mic back on. I'm not used to it. Sorry. All right. Anyway, I can't find the fucking right clip. It was basically a clip of like XXXTentacion. Rolling loud. I, I think it was like this or something like that. Roy and Debbie. Like, most of these new rappers need to know or learn crowd control. And I'm not saying X was a perfect performer, but he could, I could tell he had a sense of his power with the audience and he knew how to control that. Rather than just be just performing. So listen. 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 No, listen. Look, look. Like, it's just real subtle shit. Like, it's rolling loud. People are off molly. They're tired. They're drunk. Whatever, whatever. As an artist, you could just try to get a lit moment by just playing your hottest song and having somebody record. Or you could actually interact with them. And this was, if you ask me, the uniqueness and also the power of X. He didn't want the just zombie like cheering this and third by the crowd. He wanted to control that fucking audience and 80,000 people to control them. That's really good. Um, I'll play the clip. The only way I'm fucking performing is if you turn up for me and ski today, right now. You hear me? Yo, if 
X was alive past 2018. I don't think they you, you, you know how, um, what's the name of that Odd Future show they be doing? That they want Frank Ocean or somebody from Odd Future to close. And even when Drake did it, they booed. I think Roland Loud would have became X's show. I think Roland Loud would have became XXXTentacion's show that he or someone in members only had to close. Roland Loud is his crowd. With all due respect to Tariq, and shit, we see DJ Scheme having a lot of success within that arena now. X, this what this is partially what X helped create. And watching this, even though he passed away in 2018, you could tell even then how much of a hold over the audience he had, and he knew it. Just watch this. Watch the energy. This will roll out of It's so crazy. 80% of artists still perform this song to try to get their audiences turned up. 80% of artists will be like, oh, rest in peace, X. Yo, if you love X, put your X's in the air. And they just drop two of his songs. And they rock off the energy of him to get their shit popping. Crazy, if you ask me. Somebody said six nine do that. Yeah, Mad Hearts do that. It's not only six nine. Nigga, X is nigga. I'm sorry to tell y'all. X was bigger than Uzi. X was bigger than six nine. X was bigger than all these things. I'm sorry. Like, the fuck are we talking about? X is the only nigga who came from quote unquote the SoundCloud or Clout era. That could have legitimately challenged a nigga like Travis or Drake. No disrespect to Uzi. Uzi can't. No, 6 9 could have never. Like, come on. Like, we really talking facts. This nigga X was a once in a generation or once in a lifetime artist. This is facts, I'm telling you. He had an incredible hold over over the people. I go as far to say this. I love watching and I and I support him. The rise or the re rise of Tyler the Creator. You know everybody's everybody on Tyler the Creator's dick. He's so creative, he's so this. It took out years to to figure out what he was because at first he was hated because it was too vile, then it was misunderstood, and then if X was alive, Tyler the Creator would look like a piano. I think X, X would have been bigger than Travis Scott. Easy, easy, bro. Easy. If X is alive, he's top five. Period. In whatever criteria you have. With all due respect, Juice Row is not on X's level, bro. I'm going to be honest with you. With all due respect.
for anyone who's saying it's not facts, I'm wondering what you're looking at. Keep in mind, he died literally almost a year from the year he made the XXX cover or the XXL cover. He died pretty much a year after that. Bro, at that point, he was poised to be bigger than everybody you like. Everybody you like, he was going to be bigger than. Yo, y'all are tripping. Yo, I understand, like, you know, like, we're always trapped. We're, we're always, like, time trapped because we always remember the last thing that happened. But if y'all don't remember how influential this nigga was, y'all got it. I will go as far to say Uzi's biggest song, EXO Tour Life, is either equal to or... Pales in comparison to sad. I'm sorry. Bro, y'all nigga X was something else, bro. Did somebody say a little peep? No disrespect, bro. Like, bro, I'm telling you, X was not in the same conversation with none of these niggas, bro. Not one of them. Not Uzi. And I love Uzi. Not Uzi. Not none of these niggas, bro. You can't even say X and Juice World. Nigga, X was in a whole different league. He was the only one that was going to be a possible candidate to compete with the GOATs. And he did that shit on a on a on a small time frame. And I get it. Death immortalizes a lot of people and makes you a martyr. But, man, that boy did it, man. Read the bits. Who sent him bits? Hold on. How do I read bits? Recent events? Play Ken Carson rock and roll. What the fuck is that? I am Stoli. Thank you for the uh, two months, bro. Um, I don't know. I might be biased when it comes to X Men. Like, I had so many conversations with him, and bro, I'm gonna just be honest, bro. Like, the hold he had over an audience, I don't. I've, I haven't seen anyone have that hold over an audience. Down to Nicki Minaj. Like, he had a hold over an audience like it was a religion. Like, what he was telling people. Like, when he was talking about people's depression, sadness. Like, he was talking to, he was controlling people's lives. And there's a lot of people with big fan bases, but their fan base don't look to them for those things. Anyway, I'm going to move off of that. Um...